Relentless homesteading is about becoming relentless in your homesteading pursuit. New policy, releasing a new video every Thursday and bonus footage too. Let's move on. Let's answer some questions about the Relentless Homesteading channel. Why Relentless? Relentless is going forward enthusiastically with commitment and dedication. And we want to share with you the strategies, the tools, and the skills to make that happen for your homestead. Why does it matter? Mrs. R.H. and I believe that the time is short before the end of the world as we know it. Our goal in this homesteading odyssey is to become the best level of self-sustainment possible before Teotihuacan, W-R-O-L, whatever you choose to call it. Things are happening and they're happening fast. To reach the best level of self-sustainment, to prepare ourselves, help ourselves, and be a blessing to others in the process. What are the goals for the channel? Three things. One, to help motivate you, take action to get relentless about your homesteading. Bubbling over with enthusiasm. Two, to give you insights, tips, benchmarks, anything we can to help you with your own homesteading journey. Third, spiritual insight videos for those that are interested. Mrs. R.H. and I come from two separate worlds, so to speak, but both seeking truth and both willing to act on it and go forward. Now she prefers to be behind the scenes and Mrs. R.H., well in different ways, is just as relentless as I am about homesteading. I come from a family of avid designers and builders. It goes back, there were blacksmiths, my grandfather, my great-grandfather going back into blacksmiths, my, my dad did electronics. I grew up building projects, I mean that was my life, building stuff. Not surprisingly, I became an engineer. Uh, what? Uh, this is ridiculous. Oh, I, I, I don't get out. But we certainly aren't experts at everything. Um, nor do we have all the answers. Yeah, yeah. But you know, we want to share along the way. You can follow us on our learning, our mistakes, as well as the things that we do right. We have two adult sons. They're both doing well in the world. But more importantly, they have wonderful characters. We didn't come into this from a position of plenty. We just suffered a massive business failure. But praise God, we were able to move on to homesteading anyway. 911 was a great wake up call to us both that something was amiss. And we've learned an awful lot about what's happening in the world since, since that time. But it, it, it's given us the impetus, the, the sense of urgency to know that time is short. We need to get ready, and we need to get ready fast. We need to get relentless. It's been almost five years. We've come a long, long ways. But we started with baby steps. We did what we could where we were at. We were in the suburbs. We did what we could to get rid of things, to sell things off, to simplify our lives, get rid of debt. That took quite a long time. Then one day, God worked on our hearts that it was time was nigh. We sold the house. In fact, we sold at a time when the market was plummeting. We sold it at a great loss. So we put everything in storage, and we headed out on our travel trailer to look for a homestead. Like I said, the market was at the bottom. So originally, we had thought of building a place, but... The market was so low, it just didn't make sense at the time. It was cheaper to buy a place that was already built up, that had the land with it, than to build our own. Actually, I had plans already drawn up for a place, for a little place. Well, God led us to this place. A place that had been abandoned for four years and was in a, was in a mess. Mrs. R.H. searched relentlessly for a place for us. Now this place, when she saw it, it was such a mess, she, she didn't even tell me about it for two weeks afterwards. And uh, when I finally came up to see it, I, somehow I, I, knew, I knew immediately that this was the place that God had chosen for us. And many times during our journey since, God has, has uh, reiterated that. So we lived in this travel trailer for three and a half years. Not here where you see it, we were down next to the house, out in the weather. It'd be close to facilities, we at least had something set up in there. 
So we were in here 24 seven together. I worked out of the house. Mrs. RH also works from the house with her ministry. So yeah, we were in here 24 seven, three and a half years before we were able to move into the house. Togetherness. We've got lots of stories to tell. And hopefully we'll tell some of them on the channel. <sighs> Categories of our videos include building, electrical, plumbing, rough carpentry, gardening, structures, planting, tending, harvesting, solar power, micro projects, equipment repairs and maintenance, frugal tips, organization, unboxing and product reviews, transformation series, funny moments, outtakes, and so forth, spiritual series on seeking truth. Let's get relentless. Please subscribe because time is short. Please join us and get relentless about your homesteading. Relentless homesteading. Hasta la proyecto, baby.